afternoon is to announce the boards and the participants of our program. So this, our sixth inspiration was led to us by our song leader, then followed by um, welcome remarks by your truly program, Sister Nilda, and your presider, Sister Gladys Jane. Maybe um, before I take my seat, let me read to you from the book of John 17, verse 6. It says, I have manifested your name to the men whom you have given me out of the world. May we feel God's presence as we worship Him this afternoon. God bless you. For our opening song, let's sing leaning on the everlasting arms tonight. Psalms 46, verse 10. Be still and know that I am God. Let's kneel down for a moment. Let's pray. Let's pray. Father, can I have you here? Father, thank you so much for your love to us. Thank you for the wonderful Sunday day. As we start with our word. Uh, day 3 of our 10, 10 days of prayer. We ask you to be with us today. And help us to be careful in everything that we do. Our plans and our petitioning. Yes, yeah, Lord. Everything we do, bless our uh, speaker, Sister Nabon, as he uh, speaks to us this uh, evening. Thank you so much for your love and fill us with your spirit tonight. In loving name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Please. 
In our hectic modern life, daily urgencies demand our attention. So, I got a oras, especially ako in the morning. Pasta dili kayo ng mata, sis, ang mga bata, wala na na, hectic na na, ang schedule, pas-pas na, ako na kayo papa. Pag dali, dali, kawo na, dali, ligo na. So, man, ano, oras, kaya oras, uh, akong ginay mo sa mga, sa mga anak, ang oras, pwede ta ma-steal. Pero ang oras, hindi siya pwede mag-steal. No? 
We have become accustomed to a fast food mentality where we expect things the quickest possible way. We want it now. Gusto na tatanan, now, karun nalaga akong gusto. Karun na, karun na, now, now, now. We want it that way. So we call it fast food mentality. Na kung ita nangang magluto, gusto na ita mong kaon, at sa mga fast food restaurant. So kaya gusto mo tayo, now na, butong na ngayon, now na, dito na kari. Ay, kapoy na kaayon, dito na magluto, dito na lang tao, kaya ready na to. We have forgotten how to wait patiently. And this impatience can leak into our spiritual walk with devastating effects. The visual impulses and acoustic destruction of this hyper-connected age make it even harder to slow down and become still. One thing that a person don't want to hear is the word Wait, wait. Ito taganahan aning word, no? Kani kita gusto wait, wait. Ito taganahan kisa may ganahan. Ah, ito kung trabaho, wait for the call. Do you think you can wait because you want to work na? Di ba? So magita na kung lain na kanang dilikay ng na wait. So none of us want to wait. Lain gusto sa tuha ng mo hula. Kamatikot mo ani sa una? Telegram? Sa MBC? Pag mo message na ko ni mama, nga late na magbayad, telegram. Man, pila ka nakaadlaw sa mga bot. So dapat, uh, hapit ng exam, one month or two months, mag-telegram na ka. Telegram naman ako. Matawag ko ko telegram. Yung mga mga, bulat lang na, coming na. Good, pila ba to, di ba? So, magbayad. Basta time na lang sa examination, antuan na lang kay teacher, kay sir, 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 Sir Montenero, me. Kay Sir Montenero, linya na, taas na ang mga mga promissory no. Sige po, Sir. Ano yung sa Sir? So, linya, linya na na. Kaya pa sa exam na, makita na yun ito. Kinsa na yung mga late. Diba? So, diba? Two guys. Pero natin, pasensya sa una. No? Kay, nga naman. Kasi ako po't mabutsa sa ato ang time, ato nga time. Telegram ako tayo may ipapila. Pero karoon, ang saan naman? Aha, Gcash na. Pa, exam na ako, ma. Okay, Gcash. Then, allowance. Naka na. Online banking sa karoon. Transfer sa Poporta Bank. Online. Then, it's una. Sa una, ang tao, mga kaigsoonan. Kung saan ito atong kwan. So, kinana, no? Mga kaigsoonan. Naka na. Online. Mga online banking. So, Biblical virtue, ningon diri, learning Learning to wait in quietness and focusing our thoughts on divine matters as we walk with God may seem like a strange practice for many people today. But, biblical virtue that needs to be revived is to wait. That's the biblical virtue that needs to be revived. Is to wait. Cultivating a quiet space that is not crowded with other urgencies and preserving and claim time is crucial to connecting with God. Kung ato hinong duman mga kaiso na nga, mauna siya nga, kinahanglan dito ang slow down. To slow down, to sit still, to breath, to remind ourselves of God's tender care, to patiently wait, and not to get nervous if God does not immediately answer our prayers. These are arts that we need to learn. Kung hindi ganit pa natin mga pag-ampo, ang kinahanglan yun natin urgent answer. But still, we can find that, why? Anong pa nga wala pa yung titubag sa ginoo? Because, mga niyang dapat natin i-kuhan mga kaisunan na. Wait. Slow down. Ha? Sit still. Okay na kung kanang sa classroom, if you feel nga gusto na yung ka mag-masuko first, what would you do? Di ba? Piyong, ako ginahin mo rin, hilong na lang ko. Parang ako ka-story ang mga sakit. Hindi na manyagit. Hilong na lang po sila. So, that's stillness, no? Inhale. Sa ino na ako sa inhale. O, mahilong ka sila. Kaya may inhale. So, mao na siya. That's the biblical virtue that needs to be revived. Ginagal na to slow down, to be still. Psalms 27.14. Wapo ka siya mga kaisunan. Wait patiently for the Lord. Be brave and courageous. 
Yes! Wait patiently for the Lord. Anong maghulat ka mga kaisulang ng something? Delete na siya sa yun. Diba? Because, what? You need to be patient. Ka dapat pagani na siya, yung family yung sa text, be brave. You have to be brave and courageous. Ingot din, waiting is the principle of the Word of God. Which part of your life which is the most difficult to wait for? You can answer that on your own. Sa may part kasi, yung kinabuhi. Lisod yung kao paabot. Heaven. Ha? Maglisod ka paabot eh? Heaven? I want you to clear my mind. So, throughout scripture, we encounter God's people in an attentive attitude of waiting. Biblical writers often express their waiting expectation with question. How long? Ang sunang kadugay. Habakuk 1-2, then yung 8-13, mabasa niya. So today, we are going to learn the benefits of waiting. What are, there are four benefits of waiting. Number one, there is no hope without waiting. You can read that in Titus 2.13. So hope in the waiting. What is our hope, mga kay Sunan? Our hope is the second coming, right? That's our hope. Because mga sa mata sa kaliputan, kung wala tayo hope while waiting for that, we are waiting for that blessed hope. So this is the first one, so first benefit. There is no hope without waiting. Number two, there is no endurance without waiting. Tama, mga kay Sunan? Sinada sa Romans 5, 3, and 4. Kaya nga naman. Not only that, but we rejoice in our sufferings knowing that suffering produces endurance. So there is no endurance without waiting. Number three, there is no patience without waiting. Revelation 14, 12. There is no patience without waiting. May kapasensya mga kay Sunan, no? Isun. Awa na, biyaan. And the last one, mga brad, mga kay Sunan, is there is no longing without waiting. We are longing for that new heaven and new earth. Naglong pa po mga kay Sunan? Yes, we are all longing for that. And the last one, I'm sorry, five. There is no life without waiting. Like kaning buruska. Diba? There is no life without waiting. So we are, this is angel. No, kita nila na ho. Grabe nila mo. Life! There inside the tummy. That's for nine months. Oh, pagawas na gani. So, there is no life without waiting. And then, ate also is waiting for bro bro to come out. Right? Diba? And, kanang magtanong ta mga kay Sunan. Diba? Pwede naman ta magpalit sa DIY yung mga plastic na mga tanong. Diba? Kay Gemma, hilig man doon siya tanong. Pero ano man doon ta mga tanong doon? Because, what? There's life. Pwede naman ta magpalit sa mga plastic. Mga plants, ibutang niya sa itong decorate sa itong balay. But kung ano man dyan ang mga farmer, ang tanong dyan. Because we know that there's life there. Harvest! Kung saan? Diba? Anak itong magtanong kayo yung effort, diba? Malifying ka mga kayo. While waiting, we often focus on the problems. Diba? Kung saan niya, kinabuhi ba? Anak ikatapusan? Lord, ikapuhin na dito po, Lord. Okay, thank you. So, we often focus on the problems that are unpleasant and hope they will pass away. But waiting does not mean sitting pass passively, doing nothing, and hoping that an unpleasant situation will somehow disappear. But if we are not studying, Oh, nalihog tao. Okay, ikaw tabangan. No? So, mga kay, mga kay Sunan, waiting on the Lord, waiting on the Lord is a virtue. From a biblical perspective, the primary purpose of waiting is to bring to light who I am and who I am becoming while I wait. Biha, biha mong gulikwan na itong character, ang attitude. 
Well, the whole lakas again, no, mga kayo sa no? The experience of waiting confronts me with a significant spiritual decision. In my impatience and doubt, do I question God's goodness and omnipotence? Nga ba ta ni mga kayo sa unan? No? Or do I recognize or do I recognize that in waiting, I am confronted with a unique opportunity that will help me to become the person God wishes me to be. So, while waiting, na yun asal to ang aking sunan. No? Through the experience of waiting, I can become the person I would never have been otherwise. Mga kay sunan, it's not easy to wait. You can wait upon anything when you don't think too much of yourself. Forget yourself. Put God to fill in, mga king sunan. That's why, again, that verse, that, uh, that verse in Psalms 27, 14 reminds us that endurance can be developed while waiting. If we look at this way, waiting becomes God's means of transformation to change us according to His will. Thus, waiting is truly an expression of God's goodness and grace. It helps us to become, what? More like God, who wants, who waits in great patience, not wanting anyone to be lost, who could still be saved. So mga kaisunan, waiting on the Lord is a virtue. Dilita nga wala paglao mga kaisunan. Because, uh, virtue, that's the virtue of waiting. Remember this, Psalms 27, 14. Wait patiently for the Lord. Be brave. Kaya hindi sayo sa'yo, dapat brave ka. And courageous. Yes, wait patiently for the Lord. And lastly, mga kaisuna, wait joyfully for the Lord. Amen.